Hello and welcome to the Extend Office channel. In today's video, we will provide you with a comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide on how to merge and combine cells in Excel. This video will cover four parts. Merge cells with built-in feature. Merge cells without losing data. Find merged cells. And unmerge cells. Merge cells with built-in feature. Before we get started, be aware of the potential data loss. When you use the Merge Center feature or shortcuts to merge cells, only the value of the upper left cell will be retained, while the rest will be lost. Method 1. Merge Center Feature To merge cells with this feature, first, select the adjacent cells that you want to merge. Here I select cells A1 to C1. Go to the Home tab, then in the Alignment group, Click on the Merge Center button. Now you can see the selected cells are merged into one cell and the text is centered. There are other options of the Merge Center feature. Simply click on little drop-down arrow to the right of the Merge Center button. You can view the three additional options here. To simultaneously merge cells A1 to C1 into one cell and cells A2 to C2 into another. You should select range A1, C2 first, click the little drop-down arrow, then select the Merge Across option. To merge cells A5 to C6 into one large cell without centering the text, select range A5 to C6 first, click the little drop-down arrow, then select the Merge Cells option. To split the merge cell A9, select cell A9 first, click the little drop-down arrow, then select the Unmerge Cells option. You can see the content of the merged cell is placed into the upper left cell, and other unmerged cells are empty. Method 2. Shortcuts Another way to merge cells in Excel is to use shortcuts. It saves a lot of time when you need to merge cells multiple times. Let's explore four handy shortcuts for merging and unmerging cells. To use the shortcuts, please do as follows. First, select the cells you want to merge. Then press and hold the Alt key to access the commands on the Excel ribbon until an overlay appears. Press the H key to select the Home tab. Then press the M key to switch to Merge Center. Finally, press one of the following keys. The C key means to merge and center the selected cells. The A key means to merge cells in each individual row. The M key means to merge cells without centering. The U key means to split the merged cells. In this case, I want to merge and center the selected cells. So I press the C key. You can see the selected cells are merged into one cell and the text is centered. Merge cells without losing data with three methods. Note that data loss can occur when using the Merge Center feature or shortcuts to merge cells. For example, here I select cells A2 to E2 and merge them with the Merge Center feature. A dialog box will pop up, warning of potential data loss. Click OK. You can see only the value in cell A2 is preserved, while the values in the other cells are lost. To avoid the data loss, the following methods can provide substantial help. Method 1. Merge cells, columns, rows with a handy tool. Using this method can not only merge two or more cells to a new large cell but also merge multiple rows or columns into one row or one column, while keeping all the values. To merge the cells into one cell, select the cells you want to merge first. Then click Ctools Merge and Split. Combine rows, columns or cells without losing data. In the Popping dialog, select the Combine into Single Cell option. Then select the Space option as the separator. Finally, click OK. You can see the selected cells are merged into one cell and all values are kept. To merge multiple rows or columns into one row or one column, this feature can also do the trick. To combine five columns of data without losing data, select the cells you want to merge first. Then click Ctools. Merge and Split. 
Combine rows, columns, or cells without losing data. Select the Combine Columns option in the dialog. Then select the Space option as the separator. Then select the Merge the Combined Cells option. Finally, click OK. Now the cells in five columns are merged into one column, keeping all the values. Method 2. Combine cells with formulas. Here we introduce four different formulas you can apply to combine cells with no data loss. First, select an empty cell where you want to place the combined data. Here I select cell A6. Then input the formula. Choose one of the following four formulas and enter it into cell A6. Due to text join's greater flexibility and efficiency while combining multiple cells, the text join formula is recommended in this case. Copy and paste the text join formula in cell A6 to get the result. You can see the values of cells A2 to E2 are combined into cell A6. Method 3. Merge cells with justify feature. Before we start, remember that the justify method only works for contiguous cells within a single column. Now drag the right border of the heading of column A until column A is wide enough to fit the contents of all cells that need to be merged. Then select the cells that you want to merge, here I select cells A2 to A7. Go to the Home tab. Then click Fill. Justify in the Editing group. Now the contents of cells A2 to A7 are merged and moved to the topmost cell, which is cell A2. Find merged cells. To find the merged cells in your worksheet, you can use the Find and Replace feature in Excel. First, press Ctrl plus F to open the Find and Replace dialog box. Then click Options to expand more settings. Then click Format to open the Find Format dialog box. Go to the Alignment tab and check the Merge Cells option. Click OK. In the Find and Replace dialog, click Find All. The list of merged cells is now displayed at the bottom of the dialog box. You can click any item in the list to select the merged cell. Or you can use the Ctrl plus the keys to select all the merged cells in your worksheet. Unmerge cells. To unmerge cells in Excel, please do as follows. First, select the merged cells you want to unmerge. Here I selected the merged cells A2, A5, and A8. Go to the Home tab. Click on the drop-down arrow near the Merge Center button. Then click the Unmerge Cells option from the drop-down menu. You can see the previously merged cells are separated. The content from each of the original merged cells is now placed into the upper left cell, leaving the rest of the unmerged cells empty. That's all for today's video. Thanks for your watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for, for more of our content.